Guys, I just built something freaking amazing. And these are the wires for it. So first off, I have to give a huge thank you to Kevin at BioNO. BioNO Batteries has been uh, my earliest and longest running uh, supporter of the channel. Uh, pretty much from almost its inception, uh, BioNO has just been great. And when I was at Dayton talking to Kevin, the owner of BioNO, uh, about some projects that I had in mind that required, well, a little bit bigger battery than I had, uh, he did not disappoint. So one of the biggest things I have planned is a thousand watt pod activation uh, that we want to do battery power. And well, we're going to need a lot of battery power. So Kevin sent us a couple 100 amp hour batteries and a couple 300 amp hour batteries. But I'm thinking, well, field day is coming up. I need to figure out a way to be able to make a distribution box so everyone at field day can use. Uh, I'm just going to bring one 300 amp hour battery. But none of the power strips will be able to handle the load with like four radios going at once. And that is when I got the idea. This is my battery box. I call it Big Geek. I manufacture and sell these. This is the Big Geek expansion pack and let's get rid of this right now. So what we have here is something similar to my Big Geek battery box, but there's no battery in here. Basically what we have, I'll show you around here, but on the front we have four individual circuits on 25 amp uh, fuses. So four different radio stations will have their own two power pole outlet for powering their radios and accessories. We've got a battery meter here that's gonna connect to everything and, and show that the total current draw, consumption, uh, we're still gonna be able to have solar in here even though there's no solar. Uh, the way I designed this, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really freaking proud of how I did this. We've got some really big batteries which require some really big cables. So I bought this cable on Amazon. I added this fuse. I got a 200 amp fuse. This is one aught gauge wire. I just uh, crimped all these connectors on here. And basically the way this works on either side of the expansion pack, I've got these nuts and bolts and I actually took a Sharpie. So this side is the positive. I took a Sharpie and I colored that red. And this side is the negative. I took a Sharpie and I colored this black. So basically, I'll open this up and show you the guts. There's not a lot going on in here, just a bunch of wiring. So basically, we're going to have one aught gauge going in here. One aught gauge was a little unwieldy to put in here. So basically, what I did is I just quadrupled up some 12 gauge wire. So all four of these wires are connected to the negative, and all four of these wires are connected to the positive terminal. Then they're all going through their own individual fuse through this uh, nightmare of uh, switches and, and power pull outlets and stuff and some Wago connectors. Uh, and then these wires here connect to the meter. And that's pretty much it. You're basically just connecting um, the, the two lugs to the fuse block and then running switches to all the outlets. It's, it's pretty basic wiring. It, it doesn't really weigh much. I did have to cut out these. Uh, I cut out the box. There is a handle here that I cut off so you can make a pass through there. But uh, pretty simple, but everything is fused. I was thinking of putting a switch back here, but I was like, eh, I don't really need that because I'm just gonna basically plug, uh, connect the battery to the, to the cables and then connect the cables to this and everything's fused and switched. Uh, so, we should be pretty good. I put these on complete opposite ends just for safety because we are dealing with a ridiculous amount of uh, current that these batteries can put out. So uh, I'd rather not die, uh, at least uh, over, over the weekend for field day anyway. <laughs> so I figured that would be the best way to keep things safe. So let me show you how we wire this thing up. Now realistically, at field day, this box will most likely be on the ground and uh, even if it was on the table I'd probably be running these wires towards the back but we're just going to connect our negative wire here with the nut and then this is a fused positive wire. I do have two fuses. I was going to put two fuses in line. These are the fuses that I bought. I just got these on Amazon. 200 amp fuses. 
But uh, I figured if one blew out in the field, I don't have any spares, so I only put one on the positive, which really is fine. You don't, you don't need to have them on the positive and negative. So now we have the positive and negative connected on the uh, expansion pack. Now we can connect to any bigger battery that we want. This is just the 100 amp battery for uh, demonstration purposes. But we're gonna take this bolt out. There's a couple washers. We can go ahead and connect our positive lead. And I'm just hand tightening these for now. I will have a wrench for uh, the more permanent installation. I colored all these negative terminals with a Sharpie. You can see that's black. Uh, just to give myself a little bit more uh, peace of mind, because these are all just kind of this brass color, lest we uh, cross the streams. So now, this is connected to the expansion pack. So now that we're all wired up, this is our battery gauge. So we can turn that on, we see we have power. When these wires aren't connected, there's no power going to anything. So we can see we're 13.4 volts. Uh, I set the high and the low. When it starts drawing current, we'll see our current draw. It will accumulate our current draw over time as well as show our uh, real-time current draw. It'll show our watts, our watt hours. It'll show the battery's resistance, shows everything. These meters are great. I did use, uh, just I, I stuck with this, the uh, 100 amp shunt for this. I bought a 300 amp shunt uh, with a different meter, same meter, but uh, a 300 amp shunt for a bigger project that I have coming down the line. But for, for field day, this is all I need. And, and really for this uh, expansion packs purposes, I don't really uh, expect drawing any more than really 80 amps out of this, but I figured 100 would be fine. So again, each one of these, we'll throw this switch. Both of these power poles are hot, turn it off. Now they're, they're cold. And again, same with all these, different circuit for each one of these. So this is fuse one, two, three, and four. Now, why do I call this an expansion pack? Well, it's really a big distribution box, but here's where the expansion part comes in. And this is, this is the part that I'm really happiest about. This is one of my production models of Big Geek. Notice it's a bit more refined than, well, mine. Mine was a prototype. They're much nicer now, and this one's T-Rays. If he doesn't come to collect it soon, I might put this back for sale on the website. Just kidding, T-Ray. But this is what it looks like. It's got lights all around, switches, yada, yada, yada. It's a great box. There's a solar charge controller in here from BioEno, a 20 amp solar charge controller. For all intents and purposes, my Big Geek is exactly the same as this. It's just not as pretty. Now we're back to my Big Geek. And I made one slight modification by putting a power pole here. I am gonna change this to blue, but I have them on order. They won't be here till tomorrow. But I'm gonna make that a blue power pole. And here's how the expansion pack comes into play. If we open the lid for Big Geek, then remove this tray and set it aside, we find this connection. This is the main battery connection. If we simply unplug this power pole, plug this new one in that we just added to the side, Close this back up. Now we can utilize any one of these four ports and simply connect a little jumper cable from one of these power poles to the power pole outlet that we've just added on the side of Big Geek. Now, the big battery is running through Big Geek. All of our switches, all of our meters, everything works but we're pulling power from the big battery and not the internal battery. Everything is wired exactly the same in here. All we did was swap the one battery wire. So what that means is there's a solar charge controller in here. I didn't put a solar charge controller in here because all I have to do is connect a solar panel right here. What kind of solar panel you're asking? Well, I like these foldable solar panels from BioEno. This is the 100 watt. I can actually hook up to 400 watts of solar just through that 120 amp charge controller. Now that we've got everything set up, got our 300 amp battery, got our Big Geek expansion pack, we can plug into any one of the four ports of the power poles. And then I'm gonna add this to the port that we added. So now we can turn this switch on. 
This battery's powered. I realize it's kind of hard to see. It's a bit of light in the uh, in the camera there. Now, I plug the solar panel in to my solar input. Open the top of Big Geek. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch to turn the charge controller on. Now we can see the current starting to ramp up. We're getting 1.23 amps in. It's very late in the day, so we're not getting a lot of solar, but when we go over to the expansion pack, we see 1.23 amps of solar. So we are charging that battery through Big Geek because it's an expansion pack. How freaking cool is that? Guys, I am so happy and excited to be able to share this build with you. I am amazed that it works. It worked on the first try. I didn't screw up any cutting building the box. I didn't screw up any wiring. I didn't blow any fuses. It all just worked on the first try. It's this building. I love batteries. I love wiring things. I love building stuff. And Ham Radio brought this to me and I get to share it with you guys. Hopefully you like this idea and it inspires you to be creative and build something of this nature for yourself because this allows uh, one battery to feed multiple radios for, for field days or parks on the air events or club events or you just want to go play parks on the air with a bunch of your friends, whatever. Now you know that it's possible to make a big distribution box for relatively inexpensive other than the batteries. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited to use this and I'm so excited to show you more things with these ginormously stupid big BioNO batteries. Thanks again to BioNO and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73 guys.